Ebony Airport to bring back largest cargo aircraft to Nigeria. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post, when we post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The special assistant to Governor Dave Umahi on infrastructural development, Frank Ugu, weekend said having on, by weekend, said having an international airport will bring back the services of the largest cargo aircraft in the country. This was as Mr. Ugu was optimistic that the cargo airport will be test run on or before April 28, 2023. While Ugu said during a tour of a facility, he noted that the airfield is yet to be 100% completed, but he is ready for a test run. He said, and I quote, We are ready for the test flight. As you can see, we are here at the runway, and you can see the level of the marking of the runway. You can see that 95% of the runway has been marked, and it will be concluded in the next three days. The level of infrastructure that has been put in this place, you'll be amazed at the level of modern equipment here, and they're all made in Europe, and the best and the latest equipment in the aviation industry. You can also see that the terminal building that we have here is the single largest terminal building in Nigeria. Our apron is also the single biggest apron in Nigeria. 133,000 square meters. The international wing is 60,000 square meters. The domestic wing apron is 60,000 square meters. And the general aviation is 13,000 square meters. Everything has been put in place, like the emergency operations center, EOC, the police, and immigration fully completed. Other buildings within the airport, like substations, halls, and switch rooms are all completed. The methodological equipment within and outside the airport has been installed. So, good news for Southeasterners, Abi. The airport, <laughs> just, I think it's like those who have an airport, in, and it's, is it an international airport? In I'm trying to remember the beautiful one, is it not at Anambra? I'm not really sure. We cannot go talk with him, I go, no, no, but. <laughs> Na make it a function now, man. Na be the coco, no be the view do. But Nigeria, we don't see where they will do something finish. They no use her. Na only for this country they sell this kind thing. You go carry money, build something, build and build and build and build and build and finish. When you reach time to use her, you no go use her. They will come pack the thing. The thing will come the waste. Forget it. Then borrow money, do the project. All right, a good one and a thumbs up for those behind this meaningful project, as it will go a long way. In helping businesses over there to move all their goods in and out of that region with little or no stress at all. Exactly. That's why I'm saying good news. But like I said, I hope say it will work. But sincerely, it is really good news. This one news now is sweet people where we say they do business, importer and exporting business. Ha. This one go to read them where well. Hey, hey. This one go do a thing. You go do them jiggy jiggy for body. Thereby. Opening up the region for more businesses and also for the businesses to thrive. Kudos to Umahi and his economic advisors. This is one million times better than allowing cows to overrun the whole state in the name of Ruga, which has no economic benefit to the people of a state and the region as a whole. <laughs> which way bring Ruga inside the issue, brother? <laughs> better make we no go, no, you don't even go that area at all. Nothing concerning Ruga, concerning this particular one. The Southeast government will team up and establish one seaport in any part of regions. We have had enough of Lagos and Togo, please. I'm telling you, well, I want to believe this is possible, sir. Yes, I want to believe this is actually possible. The seaport is possible. Just like this airport now, you use a, then use builder, you come as surprise. We hope say, and I saw the seaport too. So that is our Southeasterners. <laughs> At least the crowd what they did for Lagos spot, eh? They say go feed the reduce. But there's something that caught my attention, Sha. They said all the equipment I'm brought in from Europe. I wanted to dwell on it, but I'm saying, are we really producing those things in the country? Well, I said I wanted to dwell on it. I was okay. I don't know much about planes. But I thought that by now. We go down there, even if yes, we cannot get some, you know, be everything you go fish for this our Niger, but you're supposed to get some things where we say we go fish see, eh, when it comes to manufacturing. Oh, my, hey, you are indeed the greatest achiever in the history of the Southeast. Bravo, an achiever.
Congratulations and His Excellency. Congratulations, His Excellency Governor Dave Omahe. Please, whether governors in the South should demolish the uh, development strides of Governor Omahe in a boy. Yes, so this one that all real people, even me, me make them take lessons, make them carry their biro and their writing pad. When they go meet Governor Dave Omahe, make him give them lessons on how in use do this one. We be say we be say the sweet plenty people mind. Because I tell you, this thing, oh, Governor Dave Uma, he don't, now you be the first person who do Amo, he don't write a name and go do from the heart of uh, the people of the southeastern region. Okay. Mr. Governor, on this very project and their like, I move for adoption and motion for continuity. Yes, so, well, okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.